Welcome back, travelers. It's out of Havoc here, and we are, and we got our beats going again. Chica, 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 chica. Yeah, that's right. Hear him, hear him go. So today we are going to be getting going on, and I can't leave this music on. It's just a little too loud for me. Yeah, you go in there. Can you fit in there? My my chests are like all so full. Okay, we'll put you in there. That works. So we're going to go ahead and kind of pick off where we left, <coughs> pick up where we left off. I did a little bit of work. Um, I started getting a whole bunch of material built up over here in case we ever need it and whenever, when we need it. And I did get my very first 10, 10, 10 seed. Uh, I knew we were going to be making some conduits and that takes binder, which takes paper. And so I wanted to get that done. And then I got my sprinkler system going and I have it watered by an infinite water blur. It just sits on, it doesn't even need any uh, pipes or anything like that. It just automatically puts in. And then these things grow so fast. Like, so fast. I love my 10 10 tens. I, I never actually used Agricraft until I started playing, um, oops, wrong one, uh, Infinity Evolved. And now I absolutely love it. Just because, I mean, it's really, really useful. <laughs> They're already full grown again. So anyways, today we are going to concentrate on automating our sieve because let me tell you, I am tired of standing here doing this over and over and over again. It just, it becomes very, very long and annoying. Yeah. So we're going to automate today. And to do that, we need to get to the next level here, which is automating the sieve, but I got to make an iron chest uh, upgrade. All right, so I've already done the iron chest. Now I just have to do the iron to gold upgrade. Now I'm actually not too familiar with these chests. I've never really used it before, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna need iron and gold, which I believe I have both um, iron. And yeah, I've got plenty of blocks. Oh, I only have three ingots. How many, how many? Oh, okay, here we go. Um, let me just leave one of you there. Oh, cool. And two of you, there we go. And I can smelt these bad boys up and then we will be good to go. Let me just go ahead and throw them in here real quick and get those smelted up. Ooh, if I had one more, I could actually make two blocks, but that's okay. So we're gonna make this iron to gold upgrade for this guy. And then I also wanna get going on this uh, gold furnace here and get going in that direction. And I believe that's just an iron furnace wrapped in um, gold. So I moved my uh, cobblestone generator down here and I've got this all set up and I've got an open area to work with, but I really haven't done much with it yet. So we will get going on that today. <clears throat> um, I, I, wanna, I wanna do as much as I can on camera. I don't wanna do a whole lot off camera. I've done that in the past where I do like, you know, major product projects and stuff like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Man, well, now we've got plenty of furnaces. No, we don't. No, we don't. Get out of here. That's not what I wanted. Come on, get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. Into the void you go. I was trying to make freaking... Oh, goodness gracious. I was attempting to make this. That's what I was trying to do. And I need one more. Of course. So I can make the furnace and then I can... There we go. Uh, make the iron furnace and then upgrade that to the gold furnace. I just put in eight of those, which is going to give me 16 ingots. Oh yeah, so that's enough gold right there. Cool. I don't even need these three that I have on me. So I can put those back. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, so we're going to be working on getting a lot of these done today. Um, do that. All right, so furnace, thank you. And then iron, we'll make our iron furnace here. And then we'll upgrade that one to gold. And then we'll get two done basically at the same time, which is cool. Um, I don't, <sighs> okay. Gold should be the only thing in here, right? At 16 ingots, so I can do that and that. And that's going to be nine, and then that leaves me seven more to cast out individually. Okay. Or I can just do four. Whatever. 
because I got those three over there. That was my math. I don't know if you guys caught up with that, but that's what I was basically thinking inside my brain. Doesn't always function the best, but I promise you it does work from time to time. So anyways, now we'll have enough gold to get these two upgraded. I'm going to break those down while I'm doing that. And we'll be able to upgrade one of the chests. Cool, cool, cool. I'm assuming we'll be able to. I don't th I don't think this absorbs. No, 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 no. You just have to have it in your inventory. That's right. I was trying to think of how the quests work. But <clears throat> we have our iron furnace here. So let's make that bad boy like that. Right. And that gives us our gold furnace. And then I believe the upgrade was like that, right? There we go. And do we just click it on the chest? Is that all we do? Aha! Now it's gold. Cool. And it holds more. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, I, hey, where'd that gold furnace go? Oh, it's right there. And let us actually swap out this furnace because I have a feeling it's going to be better or we wouldn't be making a gold one, right? Um, oh, it's got like upgrades, I'm assuming. Okay, okay, let's check these upgrades out. Okay, so we did that. Let's go ahead and claim our loot chest here. And we did that. So let's claim our loot chest here. And then while we're doing this, I've got another loot chest over here and well, some of these bags. So let's do a little opening to, to begin. It's always fun checking out what we're getting here. So I got some read. Alt control plus scroll to cycle between blocks. Interesting. A flat lamp and tinted glass. Interesting. I think I already got that disc and I've already got those. Okay. Well, that's cool. We got some more stuff that we already had. Whatever. Um, I'm going to need another chest soon. Oh, what is this? Oh, is, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. Now we've got so much storage space. So much storage space. That's awesome. All right, let's check out what kind of junk we got from our common loot bags. Oh, that's not junk. Ooh, an artifact helmet. Hold on. I want to see what that artifact helmet is. Uh, speed boost and equip plus five swift iron chest plate. Is that better than the one we're wearing? I don't know. Um, string? Really? That was what was in a rare loot bag? A piece of string? Ooh, another piece of armor. What's this? Uh, food saturation when equipped fills hunger when half empty, heals for half a heart, 10 seconds after taking damage, restores health after taking lethal damage. Well, that's a good little helmet, I think. And... An iron pickaxe. I don't know. Maybe I can use it for crafting. And some paper. Ooh, I know these white stones do something cool. I don't know them very well, but I know they do something cool. I don't need that string, so let me grab that. And I am, like, running out of space here. Um, what don't I need right now? Well, let me just go. I don't have any chest space. Ah. Okay. We'll put the disc over here. We'll just we'll, we'll, we'll dump in here for right now. That's what we'll do. We'll just dump in here. Um, I know that this sword is going to be better than my pickaxe, which I've been using as a weapon lately. And let's go ahead and open this last one. Coal, wheat, a jailer's fire net, and redstone alloy. Cool. So some useful stuff. Definitely some useful stuff there. Um, ooh, a wrench. Cool. I don't know what a wrench is good for, but I think it looks cool. So let me put these in here. I'm trying to get everything kind of stacked up because I kind of just started throwing things into these chests, but I don't know. Do you smelt faster? Is that what you do? I don't know. But emeralds are in here. All right, cool. So we've got some more storage space, which is awesome. And then what did that open up? That opened up what I want to get into now, which is automatic sieve, a fortune upgrade, and a speed upgrade. All right, so let's start with the automatic sieve. We are gonna, well, we're gonna need um, a hammer too. So let's check out the auto hammer at the same time. Um, there's this guy right here, right? Yeah, the automatic hammer, that's what I want. Um, that is with Invar or Dark Steel. Invar, oh, I can do Invar in the thing. An anvil, a weighted pressure plate, and a piston. Oh yeah, we can do all of that. That way I can crush everything down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's get the invar started, which is ferrous and iron. I don't remember the ratio, but I know it's something like this. And so we'll put you in there and you in there. I think that is the ratio. I think it's two to one. 
Well, we'll see in a minute. But we've got the invar going there. And then a uh, pressure plate I can do. Bink, bink. Got you. And then I'm going to need some redstone. No, it's not redstone. It's redstone. It's the stuff I just got. Awesome time to get that stuff, huh? Uh, redstone alloy, red alloy ingot. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Let's see. Um, but I'm going to need a couple planks. So one, two, three. And make up some planks. Thank you. And let's go get some cobblestone for that piston. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So now I've got everything. It's going to be one of those two. I don't know which one of those red ingots it is, but it's one of those two. Um, they work like redstone, apparently, for the piston instead. So let's make you. Okay, it's red alloy ingot. Does this one work too? No, it doesn't. So that's just redstone alloy. That's something different, apparently. And, oh, I need to make an anvil. Let me grab some iron. Uh, one, two, three. And then I need one more to break down. And there we go. All right, so make you. Thank you. And then now all I'm going to be waiting on is the invar. So piston there, pressure plate there. You go there, and then invar should be done in just a second. Molten invar, ha ha ha. Nice, nice, nice. So then we'll have the crusher, or whatever it's called, the hammer, and then we'll make the um, auto sieve. And so then we can pipe straight from the cobblestone generator into the crusher, and then straight from the crusher into the auto sieve. And that will work brilliantly. So let us get this made like so cool crusher and that's going to go right down here so that bad boy is going to be right there the crusher will then be right here and that's going to pipe lava into there and then i need to pipe over you know what we'll be able to use item conduits um yes that's i started making paper to make item conduits from ender io so we can start doing that. But let me get the auto sieve going as well. Uh, where are you at? Auto sieve. There you go, right there. All right, so that's more Invar with Invar nuggets. How much do I have left? I have three left. I need more Ferris. Oh, I don't have any Ferris. I think the nickel is Ferris. Um, I got tons of iron. And you go, ha ha, that is Ferris, I do believe. That'll give me five, which will be four. Oh, that'll be perfect. That will be perfect. I wonder if this doubles. I'm, I'm not going to try it. I don't want to wait. Hey, come back here. I don't want to waste the, uh, the potential ingot right now. So we're going to go ahead and turn that into Ferris. And then ooh, that's going to give me two. So one, two, three, four. And that'll give me the invar. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check on this conduit here. Because I know there's a couple things I need to make for the conduit. Uh, you, item conduit. Yes. Okay, so let's start with these. I got to make it lot. Oh, I got to make this stuff. That's right. So it's dust, salt, and clay. Now, if I remember correctly, a water bucket. Where's my bucket at? A water bucket turns into salt when crafted i believe i think or is it this one turns into salt no how do i get salt how do i get salt um i think pam's is probably going to be the easiest one to get where is the salt mechanism okay how do i get salt a crusher Shape crafting from a salt block? No kidding. Uh, what about you? How do I get salt? Come on. I know Pam's has salt. Ah, there it is. Uh, salt ore in the nether? Oh, okay. It's the pot in a bucket. Okay, how do I make this pot? Four iron ingots and a stick. That we can definitely do. That I have plenty of each. Um, sticks. Bingo, bango. And then iron. Um, I guess I'm going to do another 
block broken back down. There we go. So stick and the pot, and then this pot and water gives me salt. Yes. Okay, cool. I don't know if this salt works, to be honest, but I'm hoping for the best here. That's basically what I'm going with. I'm trying to be optimistic. Hey, give me back. You pick that up. Why aren't you picking that bucket up? Thank you. All right. And the there we go. There's salt. Let me just stand here, I guess. Because I can do this, right? Isn't it like W? Aha! Yes. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Uh, it was like two per, I think it was. I like this whole holding W and shifting it in. I think that's pretty nifty. Okay, so we got a little bit of salt to start. If I need more, at least I know how to make it. And let us see. That's what I needed this for. Um, I made a whole bunch of sugar cane because I knew I was going to need paper. So let's look up that conduit again. Conduit is this binding. So how do I make that? Can I please tell me I can use one? Ah, I can. Cool. And then clay. Clay I have. And then he makes some dust. Clay I have. And then let's go get some cobblestone. I won't grab my hammers real quick in one of these come on there's like a weird delay it's not really lag it's just a weird delay it's kind of annoying okay so now we're gonna go make up some dust oh my god i really need some more endermen so i can make some elevator blocks because let me tell you going up and down this little water stream over and over again it's getting kind of repetitious all right there we go so we're gonna make up some dust. What I might do here is I might go ahead and pause, uh, get these conduits made up just because this isn't the most exciting stuff. We've all seen conduits made before and it's gonna take me a minute to get the, the necessary resources to get all this done. So I think I'll pause and then we will come back once I have the conduit made. Okay, so as I was uh, trying to get materials built up, I realized that I was getting a little ahead of myself because I forgot this is Kappa mode, right? So I'm probably gonna have to go with leadstone stuff uh, for the time being, I can't do the ender IO because to make the uh, conduit, I need this stuff, the pulsating iron nuggets, which aren't hard to make. They're just an ender pearl and an iron ingot in an induction smelter or an alloy smelter, right? Not a problem until I look at how to make the alloy smelter. And the alloy smelter, it's not difficult. It's, you know, gold furnaces, iron blocks, a cauldron and a machine chassis, which is a basic capacitor, crystallized redstone, which is done on an assembly table. You see where I'm going with this, right? So I thought, okay, we'll do the quick and easy and do some leadstone stuff. So um, item ducts should be pretty cheap. Um, just regular item duct is with, a regular item duct is with hardened glass. Okay, what about the opaque ones? Item duct opaque, where are you at? Item duct opaque, okay, cool. That's done with lead and tin, that I can do. That I can definitely do. So lead, we'll grab two of those, and then tin, where are you at? Um, one, two, three, four, okay, cool. So that I can do and at least get some item ducts started, right? And then also I wanna do some leadstone energy cells, which is gonna be like this. So it's two lead, a regular piece of glass, and some of this, is it redstone alloy? Is that it? Red alloy, okay, so it's the other one. So let's put you back, and then I'm gonna need six of you, so I can put two of you in there. And this is gonna get us started. Whew. <clears throat> but at least I'll start getting a bunch of gold and iron soon once we get all this done. So that's totally fine by me. But I do need a piece of glass. So I need another uh, piece of cobble. There we go. Put you down. And you. And then we got our sand. Cool. And that furnace seemed to be pretty quick. It got through everything pretty quickly. So this shouldn't take too long. Just get me a nice little piece of glass here. 
And I should probably uh, make those into my small nuggets. I wonder, if, I don't know if the small nuggets work in here, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, cool, they do work. Awesome, awesome. And so now I can make some leadstone flux duct. Leadstone flux duct. What am I missing? Lead ingots. Red alloy ingot. That's what I got, right? Red alloy ingot. Why are you not doing this? Why are you being troublesome? Oh, I know why. Because I don't have the lead. That's why it's not doing it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I got plenty of lead. Uh, lead. One, two, three, four. We'll cook up the lead in here. After I make it into the lead gravel. There we go. Cook you up quick like... Let's see if it doubles in here. I mean, this is a good test. It does not double, but oh well. I'm okay with that just to get these done. Okay. And I'm going to need fluid duct too, as a matter of fact. fact, what is the fluid duct made of? Um, I'm not going to do the temper. Oh, yeah, it's got to be tempered. Um, ooh. Uh, will break if it's hot or cold. Yeah, and I can't do that because I'm moving lava. So it's got to be this one. So that's going to be two invar and a lead. <laughs> I need more lead. Jeez. Um, lead. Lead. How do I not have lead? How do I not have lead? I always have too much of that stuff. Um, are any of these lead? I'm just not realizing it. Not fled. You're not lead. You three are, but I can't make anything with you. Do I have anything random? Like random ingots sitting around? What What are these? Soap. Okay. Nope. I'm going to have to go and make some lead. So I'm going to go ahead and pause right here. I'm going to go and get this. Well, hold on. Hold on. The lava, I don't need to move just yet. I can do that manually with a bucket to start. So let me grab, this is my leadstone flux duct. So you're good there. And let me grab some lava. Oh, these are coal powered anyways. Ha, not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. So we're gonna get some coal. <laughs> lava wasn't even an issue. I can just dump that in there. There we go. I've got tons of coal from the, the crushing. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we'll get you in there. You'll start up, right? And then let's get a stack of cobble and get it put in there. So then you're gonna start going, wow, you just don't put out a lot of power, do you? <coughs> it's okay. Let's get back to our auto sieve. The invar should be done. And then I can start um, auto sieving the gravel as it goes. So, in water, I got six ingots. This way we can get our auto sieve done, and then we'll have the whole system automated. And then, uh, in between episodes, I can take the time to, you know, uh, get my power up a little bit better. Uh, maybe make a couple of those uh, survivalist generators, or maybe upgrade to lava generator, which is inevitably what I want to do. And wasn't thinking the fact that lava doesn't go in the survivalist generator. Bully for me that I'm not thinking right now. All right. You know, there was something I needed paper for. I know there was something I needed paper for. And I can't remember what it was. I thought it was the conduit, but it's not the conduit. So I'm not 100% sure what I needed paper for. But, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. So the auto sieve. Auto sieve. You go like that, uh, an Electrum gear, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna make our first gear. And then the mesh, I can do easily. Okay, so uh, let me turn these into this and let me make up four ingots of Electrum, which is gold and silver. And I used all my, oh no, gold and silver. Where you at? Silver, okay, cool. So we'll smelt you guys up together and then I'm gonna, I have an iron ingot on me, yes I do. Cool. So this shouldn't take too long. Then I can make my gear and uh, mesh. Let me make the mesh while we're waiting. I got web, plenty of web. There we go. 
or I mean I have plenty of string to make the silk mesh as it's called I call it web but whatever you should be almost done you take too long all right so make sure I got everything now uh, Electrum gear which is it can only be made in a gear cast okay I uh, kind of want to take the silver out real quick so I can make a cast that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna make the gold cast um, so what's the cheapest gear I can make a wooden gear oh, well I can do that four sticks sure Wow this is one two three four this Kappa mode stuff man it's it's catching me off guard it is get back here it is really catching me off guard all right so gold is good what I don't, don't tell me I need like another ingot or don't tell me I can't use wood how do I do the stone okay we'll do that real quick we'll just double tap we'll make sure that I have everything possible because stones like the only option I have left I, I can't make a metal gear yet um, and you can't just build them so this has to be the option here bink 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 okay now we've got a stone gear all right and now go aha okay that was the problem that's cool is it was it just one was it just one no it used both so now I've got to get more gold to make the electrum hmm okay so well the crusher should have made some already it made three gravel that's it and then you ran out of power no you're just really really slow okay I definitely need more power um, let me go ahead and grab some cobble while I'm here there we go that way I can try to get some more gold because we need four more pieces to get uh, two more ingots basically so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some gravel going and see if I can get some more gold pieces and once again this is going to probably take a while so i'm going to break right here and then when we come back we'll finish up so we'll be right back all right i think i got it i think i got it yes i have one <laughs> i got three fortunately so there we go that's going to give us our two gold and there's already one in there all right two gold two silver that's going to give us our electrum which will give us our electrum gear awesome awesome i've got the web and so we should have everything we need. Auto sieve. I get. Yep, we're good. Ingots. Nuggets. That's going awesome. So we're back on track now. That's a good thing. And let me. I'm thinking I'm going to switch over to a drawer system, uh, because I'm just running at it. I have no chest room whatsoever. Like I'm filled up to capacity, which is crazy to think when you. I mean, if you really think about it, right? You start on basically six, nine pieces of grass, and then all of a sudden you just have all this crazy stuff. That I, I love modern Minecraft for that reason. Just the the principle behind it, like how crazy it really is. So there's my electrum, awesome. Go ahead and fill that gear. Come on, and finish. And we got our gear, awesome. So now I can do my auto sieve like a soul, and then the auto sieve is basically for right now I'm just gonna place it well I don't can they touch will it pull if it's touching I don't know let's try that um, it doesn't seem to okay so let us move you right here and put an item duct no that's flux duct that's item duct item duct right there Will you push automatically or do I need a servo? Looks like I'm going to need a servo. Okay. Servo hopefully is nothing insane. And then we will technically have auto crafting or I mean auto sieving. And that will be a good, good thing. Uh, servo. What is the recipe for a servo? I don't even want to know how crazy this is going to be. Iron, iron, glass and redstone. Ooh, well, that's not that bad. That's not bad at all. 
iron glass. I need a piece of sand. Of course. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Gravel. Sand. Let's go cook this up. And then we'll have our servos. And hopefully everything will run well. Then I can just pipe from the cobblestone over to the, uh, the other one. So let us make the servo. Oh, no, wait, I gotta smelt that glass up. Go, 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 really quick. These look like upgrade slots, which I kinda like. If I can upgrade this thing and make it even faster, that would be awesome. There we go. Hold on, I just had everything. Iron, iron, red, oh, I don't have the redstone. Boop, one redstone, please. Now I've got it. Okay, cool. So I've got two servos. Now, that will allow me to do item ducks from here to, come on. This is gonna be really ugly to start, but it's gonna serve its purpose, so it's okay. I'm okay with it for that reason. Servo on ignore. Then you should start filling this one with up cobble too, right? Or is it just going into here? It doesn't seem to be going to either. Are you going? Oh yeah, there it goes. Now it's going up. Okay, cool. So the cobble is going there and then a servo from here to here. And that's gonna put the gravel over here, which is a nice short distance, so it should work. Oh, but this is gonna need power. Uh, leadstone flux duct is gonna go one, two, three, four. All right, so now you're gonna get power. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more of these generators. I mean, it doesn't use a lot of coal, but so it's working. Okay. It's, it's not the prettiest system in the world and I will refine it, but it's working. We've got power and actually this will output coal, which can then output the coal back to here. That won't be too bad, at least for right now until I upgrade, but you're going to constantly give me lava. You're going to constantly pump over to here and then you're going to constantly pump over to here, but this is going to be really, really slow for right now because you don't have a lot of power. So it's time to make some more of these generators. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits right there because, well, we've already been taking a long time. But at least the auto sieve is set up now. Now I just gotta increase my power so I can produce more. And then we'll start auto sorting that and stuff like that. Because eventually I want to um, have it go from the crusher or the, the hammer, right, into the auto sieve. Then the sieve is going to go into a compactor and it's going to put all of those into four by fours. And then they're going to go into like a induction smelter or a redstone furnace to double the ore. And then it's all going to go into some storage, uh, storage drawers or chest or whatever. But for right now, I think this is a pretty good start. We, it's going to be slow. <laughs> it's so slow because <laughs> that's using 40 RF per tick. And this is using 40. So that's 80 RF per tick. And this thing is only generating is that five RF per tick? Is that all that's generating? Can I do the lava generator? Can I, can I do that right now? No, 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 no. We're going to finish this up right now. I'm going to do it off camera because this has already been long enough as it is. So yeah, guys, we, we are officially, officially auto sieving. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is officially auto sieving. So I'm going to work on getting a couple crushers so we can make, uh, both or basically all three. We're gonna make gravel, sand, and dust, and then we'll auto sieve all of them down. So that'll be my um, plans for the upcoming future. But I'm sure I finished something. I finished something, didn't I? Did I finish something? Oh yeah, when I was making my 10, 10, 10. So we got some more loots. Loot chests coming to us. Let's grab these. And we will open those up to finish up. I don't remember ever getting nether wart, but that might've been um, through, uh, one of those, uh, sieves. I might've got some wart through the sieves. I don't remember ever getting another wart, but apparently it tracked me that I did. I don't see it anywhere, but it says I got another wart. Ah, I did get another wart. Okay. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm assuming it came through one of the sieves. Not hundred percent sure, but let us go ahead and put all this junk back real quick clean out my inventory yep there we go and coal there we go 
and I will put this ingot cast back right here. Let's open these things, see what we got. Ah, uh, that same disc again. And that set again. Okay, I really don't need that set. I mean, it's nice that you're thinking of me and giving me a full kitchen or whatever, but I don't need that. That is just nonsense. And I'll put this disc over here. And yeah, now I have three of the same disc. I don't even want to listen to it to go out. It's, it's just too repetitive. So making sure I've claimed everything I can claim. We're going to have to get started on the QED pretty soon because that's how we make the uh, alloy uh, smeltery. And oh, I was trying to move this around and see what else we can get coming up. We'll probably work our way towards this sieving montage four and then a diamond furnace and these hell furnaces and the auto sieve and stuff like that will be done next time. We've already got that. So, so yeah, so we've got some stuff coming up, but guys, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope this is something you want to see more of. If it is, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more of this outstanding Kappa mode, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.